a horror classic remade for a new generation of thrill seekers. I heard that you were a little concerned about making a remake. You know, what made you change your mind? Um, you know, I just felt like there's such, there was a glut of them, and, and I think what really helped me change my mind was seeing the, the original movie. Um, just because it, it, it was a great story that just didn't age very well, you know, it was something that, that was really worthy of a remake. You know, I just wanted to see the story retold in this with, with the technology available to us now. This is an amazing house. You are going to love it. Holy... This is the deal of a lifetime. Ryan Reynolds of Blade Trinity and Melissa George of TV's Alias play George and Kathy Lutz, a young married couple who move into the house of their dreams in the quaint town of Amityville. What's the catch? But it's not long after they settle in with their three young children that they discover their dream home has a nightmarish past. There was a crime, a, a murder. In the house? All cliches aside, this movie was really a roller coaster ride for me. What was the experience like for you? A roller coaster as well. I would come home after a day of filming Amity and be so blissed out, like exhausted. Mm -hmm. You know, I had the bursted vessels under my eyes from crying <laughs> and screaming. And it doesn't take very long for the screaming to begin, as strange things start to happen in the house, and the family starts to realize they may not be alone. George? What? What's the matter? Did you, uh, do that thing with the magnets? Nothing. Just seeing things, I guess. Before this movie, did you believe in ghosts or the supernatural? I don't know if I believe in necessarily like a, a something uh, manifesting itself as an actual ghost that would go boo, but I mean, I, I, I do believe that, that there are spirits out there, and I believe if you move into a house where something that horrible happened um, it, within those walls, I think there's going to be something pretty scary. What's most terrifying about the Amityville horror is that it's based on a true story. There's several people, a family... Used claims he heard voices coming from within the house. It's probably the most well-known haunted house in the world. Just think of the horrible, tragic background of it and, you know, how it's affected people's lives. And in the film, things inside the house go from bad to frighteningly worse as evil forces begin to take control of George. We didn't hurt anybody. It was this house. I got this under control. You don't have you under control. In a lot of your previous movies, you've been a pretty likable guy, but you play a really evil dude in this flick. You know, what was that change of pace like for you? Um, it was fun. It, for me, it was great just because the character was sort of subtly evil. I mean, he wasn't like a mustache twisting, you know, uh, <laughs> snidely whiplash, whatever that guy's name is. But um, it, it was fun to play this guy as, a, as someone who's psychologically speaking unraveling throughout the course of the movie. This house is bad, Mommy. Michael, honey. There's no bad houses, there's just bad people. 